Hello, good morning from the car. Not the normal start to a video, but here we are. I'm at the kiln. First off, if you're new here, I'm Jamie. I make pottery and I do so at home. And I have my kiln at my parents' house and I was firing it yesterday while I threw a bunch of stuff because I'm trying to build up like my inventory so I can have enough stuff online and for markets. And then the kiln didn't hit temperature. So basically that means it needs to fire to 2190, I think is what I have it set out, degrees for it to hit cone six, which means that it's like all good to go. It's not porous and all of that. And the glaze is like how it's supposed to be. And it only made it to like 1900, which is not it. Very close, but so much happens in the last like two, 300 degrees that they're not gonna be done in there. So now I need to figure out if my elements are broken or if it's the relay, which basically like tells the elements when to heat up, um, or if it's something else. And I normally have somebody look at it. It's been like a year since I've had any issues. So it could very well just be that my elements are tired and I need to get new ones. I have a market on Friday and the stuff in there was supposed to be for that. And now I will not have that much stuff there, which is like fine. But I also had markets planned for April too. I threw like 30 things yesterday. I have a lot of stuff on the shelves too. So just a bit of a bummer, but we're going to figure it out, so come along for the ride. Really don't know what this vlog will consist of, but you're here now, so let's do this. Maybe since the kiln was on for so long yesterday, sometimes if it sits at the same temp for a long enough time, it will still hit the proper cone, and maybe that happened. But that is like extreme wishful thinking. So let's actually go see. Thanks for being here.
Okay, here's the latest sitch. I have lots of things to trim today. Probably like 25, which for me is a lot. I do kind of want to see if I can finish it all and maybe prep some clay to throw tomorrow. Since the kiln is down, may as well just keep making stuff so that I can put it right back to good use when it's fixed. I do think that it is the relays that is causing the problem. They were the first things that were updated out of like my last like haul of updates and fixes that I had to do to it. So it would make sense if that would be the first thing to like wear out. And I did read that those should be changed like either every year or like every 18 to like 24 months, depending on how you fire it. And it's been at least a year, if not more, probably a year and a half since I've changed those. So that checks out. And the elements worked fine, burned <laughs> through everything. There is some corrosion on the like connectors, which I'm gonna take a wire brush to and just clean off just to make everything a little bit better. So that will be a task for next week once the relays come in. And until then, I'm just going to keep making and keep doing admin stuff. Did I open up my resume last night to update it and apply for a simple retail job at a small business? Yes. Didn't actually apply for it, but I started it because I was like, this might not be a terrible idea if I just worked like 10 hours somewhere else. Because when stuff like this happens and now I'm like not going to make as much money as I could have made and won't be able to get my stock up to have enough stuff for markets and to put online as I'm like trying to build this whole thing. Doesn't sound like a bad idea.
Hello. Sorry, the washing machine is going. I have spent the morning hand building and throwing, which is exactly what I wanted to do and it was great. I made a vase, some big hugs and some plates. And I need to remember to bring the plates in from outside. But yeah, I had a little bit more clay. I was aiming to use all of it, but some of it just wasn't soft enough. So not worth it to throw with. And now I'm gonna go take a break. I have the market tonight. I'm going to put the stuff in the car. It's truly only two bins, which is amazing to not have to carry much up the stairs. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. It starts at six, we'll probably end around nine, which I've never really, I think I've done one other night market. So we'll see how it goes. It's pretty hot out today, so I'm hoping it cools down by the evening. And that's all I have to share. Happy Friday. Saturday is here. Last night was the hottest night we have seen yet. It was close to 90 degrees <laughs> at like 5 p.m. when we got there to set up. So I was dripping sweat the whole time, which is <laughs> insane. It is way too early for that, but I guess not. Thank you, Florida. Anyways, outside of that, it was so easy for me, honestly. I didn't have much to set up. We were done with that in like maybe 20 minutes and we were able to get food and chill for a minute, get some nice cold water, go inside and cool down. And I think I made about eight or nine sales, like 250 bucks. We probably were only there for like an hour and a half. We probably started tearing down around like 7.30 when the sun went down. So yeah. For me, it was so low key. So I don't know how long the other vendors were there, but like that hour and a half for me was like good enough to where I felt fine, like leaving and setting up. My husband was exhausted because he had worked all day. And so I felt like this is the right move. And I'm so glad that we did because I think I left on like a high note versus leaving like extra tired, extra sweaty, eaten up by mosquitoes, etc. <laughs> so that was good for me. And I got to talk to one of the small business owners right next to me. He designs really awesome t-shirts, like screen prints them and everything himself. And they're so good. I bought one for my friend for her birthday. And I was just so encouraged by everything that he was like, yeah, our just conversation and just like the mutual understanding of like how hard it is and like figuring out when to do markets, when to say no, like ramping up online so that you can just like choose the markets you want and not have to make them your like bread and butter everyday thing, which I know for some people that is the way that they run their business, which is great. But I think for me, my goal this year was to sell online and I've kind of gotten distracted by that because I keep getting offered or invited to things and it's hard for me to say no because I'm like, oh, well, I could make money and it's not that difficult, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm, I can only make so many things. So for me to have stock for market, but then also have stock for online just like isn't possible yet. And that's why I've been like ramping up my work, but I would really love to have a majority of stuff to sell online and just like a handful of things to sell in person and in my shops like locally. So that was just like the encouragement that I needed to focus on what I really want to focus on and like just like 
focus on it and go for that and not like get distracted by all the other things. And I think that maybe, and I maybe mentioned this before, but like even like the idea of getting like a simple part-time job so that I could just focus on that one thing and have the part-time job be like, I'm selling at markets, um, but not so that I don't have to feel like I gotta say yes to this and this and try and do it all at the same time because that's where I'm like, nothing's getting my full attention. And for me and just like how I work, I have to have my full attention or else it's just not gonna get finished or be done the way that I want it to, etc. Like my pop-up shop, for example, I have not been like putting much focus into that and I haven't been selling much as there and I know it's been like slower, but this past month I just asked the owner like, hey, what's it like this time of year? Is it just slow for everyone or is it just me? Cause I've had to pay money on my rent where normally it will either I'll make money or I'll just like break even and it will pay for itself, which is ideal for me. And that just hasn't happened uh, so far this year. And she mentioned that it's just slower. And so here are some things that you can maybe do, like adding a little sign that says like who you are, what you make and a photo of yourself. And I thought of adding more like price ranges. Cause right now it's like either you get like a magnet or a keychain ornament thing for like six or eight dollars or you get like a mug for like 45 dollars so i kind of want to find the middle ground of that and i'm going to utilize the pieces that i didn't sell last night <coughs> so i'm going to utilize the pieces that i didn't sell last night for that while i get the kiln fixed and keep making more things to sell in my online shop and I feel good about that. It's kind of exciting. Honestly, that conversation really just ignited me. And today I'm going to price and get all that stuff set up, get a little sign printed of me for my shop. I've got a picture frame here to use. And then what else? Honestly, I think that's it. I threw some stuff yesterday and I could trim and hand build that or finish hand building the pieces that I started. But I might save that for tomorrow and just focus on this admin kind of stuff right now. The shop opens in a couple hours, so that will be my afternoon. Just going there and rearranging and things. And I feel good about that. It's hard, but when I spend a lot of time alone and then I have a conversation with someone that is just a very simple, straightforward conversation that is like, you could do this and you can do this maybe try this it's like oh i need perspective and i just need to get out of my head and talk to people <laughs> and not be alone all the time so that is a goal for the coming weeks months year just like yeah putting myself out there more is putting myself out there more not in terms of like selling but in terms of like connecting with other people in this field because it is just obviously easier to do things alone, but it's not. We need people and I need people. I'm learning and growing. And last night was just a conversation made the whole like two hours of sweat worth it because it was really motivating. So there's that. Let us prep some pieces. <laughs>